Hey guys, this is Veron from Speaker of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. So today it's a bit of a character design but not really type of video. So if you watch my channel or if you've been here for quite some time, you would know that I would occasionally upload character designing videos and it's one of the things that I enjoy doing, though rarely I rarely work on because it takes a couple of days to actually finish a drawing or a set of outfits. Now. What we're doing on this video today isn't exactly the character design, but more of editing and patching things together. So if you've watched my character design videos, you know that I take advantage of the layering system of any art program to sort of dress up the character. So for those who don't know who are new or you don't ha you don't watch those videos, I hope you do, but, uh, but still, yeah. Uh, what I would do is I would draw the base, which is like a doll. Um, I made this system up, by the way, or maybe I took inspiration from like bases, but uh, I would make a doll and then I would just pretty much draw on the different layers of clothing the character is wearing. So for example, with Seiyan here, he wears a sh an undershirt, pants, boots, and then like a stiffer top, and then some accessory-esque belts. And then he wears a nice fluffy cloak. So layer 0 would be the base, which is this that we're editing. Layer 1 would be the shirt, the pants, and the boots. Layer 2 is like the top and the belt. And then layer 3 or set 3 would be the cloak and whatever other accessory I put on him. So my designs more or less follow that system. And for the commissions that I do, I've been implementing the system since... Probably 2013, 2014-ish. I don't know if any other, um, if any other character designer or commission artist does this type of thing. But it's something that I do. And recently, like Fate Grand Order, sort of does the same system. Like when you when you um, ascend your servant. But I won't talk about that right now. Uh, <laughs> it's just coincidence, like probably. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is that we're editing the base and I'm pretty much fixing the anatomy. That's the main goal of this. I didn't really change anything on the outfit except maybe like shading. So I first made the base for Saiyan in 2016, which is as of recording two years ago. So it's in these little type of things that you notice that, hey, I improved as an artist. That's because I would see a lot of anatomy mistakes and some shading improvements to be made. So right now, uh, the difference now between 2016 and 2018 is that I noticed in the 2016 version, in, a, in an attempt to make things look proportionate or proportional, uh, he didn't have a wrist, basically. He didn't have an ankle and like he didn't have... What do you call that part? A shin, I think? Or like it was too... Everything was too thick. And it wasn't really in proportion anymore. Which is completely what against... Went against what I was trying to achieve back then. So, I'm editing that now to make it more like the image of the character I have in my head. So the little outside of the lines paint that you see that I'm erasing... That came from the old base. Uh, what else? Alright, so... I will mention that I know that my proportions aren't perfect still. Like, I could see right now, just a week after I finish this, that his ankle might be a little bit too slim compared to the rest of his body, but I can just fix that again later on or maybe just leave it be. Who knows? It, ma it will depend on how bothered I am in the future. Like, his feet change so much. Like. Um, it was so wide and weirdly angled. It's like he had a sprain or something. And it was like too extended and too long. So I edited that. And I know that his for uh, background leg doesn't really look the same size as the one in the foreground. But hey, whatever. Improvements, improvements. Um, so what we're doing right now for this video... Okay, so I first did this edit thing without any recording because I thought it would be fast 
but it didn't turn out to be fast so I ended up recording it or working on it on a live stream and it came about because I wanted to draw my characters in like casual clothing so usually I draw them in their uniform or their battle outfits which is usually the setting that they're in but I wanted to draw like really cute casual outfits or like OOTD type of stuff so I wanted to draw Saiyan first because he's one one of the characters that I re ha pape words. He's one of the characters that ha <laughs> I can't talk. He's one of the characters that has a really defined aesthetic, I guess, and not because it's like weird or eccentric, but because he's a dancer and he prefers loose, easy to move in clothing. And it's also because he's the only character right now, or his, his pairing is the only set of characters that has a modern AU that isn't like magical and fantasy. So I really have a good image in my head of how he would usually dress. So I wanted to draw that, and then when I opened up the base for to draw on it, I was I couldn't resist fixing and editing the anatomy and everything else. So that's how we ended up here. So what we're doing right now is we're working on his original uh, mage uniform. The actual character design is in another video. Uh, it's probably released already. This might be one of those bonus videos. We'll see. But I will have it linked probably in the end card. Um, but yeah. 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 So that's how it turned out. So I'm editing his set one outfit, which is his uniform. And it, it was pretty fun, to be honest. Like, trying to patch things together and fixing the shading and all of that. It was a bit time-consuming. It took me several uh, streams, I think, to finish. But it was pretty good. Oh, this hand. I actually even reworked this hand completely. That's why I had to delete the original glove that he's wearing. And I fixed, I guess, the physics of the gloves a little bit, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I really hope that it doesn't look patched up. To me, it looks pretty coherent, and I still managed to follow the style or edit the base to make it look like the current coloring style. Um, I really hope it doesn't, doesn't look like it does like chop chop. <laughs> Another thing I've been trying out with my new system, or not a new system, it's something new that I added, I added to the system. Um, I'm using layer masks now. So for those who don't know what layer masks are, it's pretty much in all painting programs I've handled so far. And... It basically mm, it hides what you're erasing, so it puts like a sort of a layer that you can erase stuff, but it's still technically there. So that's why I'm being messy with the cloak. Um, when you erase it in the layer mask and not on the actual layer, but on the layer mask layer, it sort of masks that blue part that you see on screen right now. So when I you know, like when I click away or when I remove that like guide thing, it will look like as if I've deleted there. It looks like as if I'm erasing the paint off, but in reality, the paint's there. So if I need it or if I edit something in the future, I can just use the brush tool on the layer mask and it will reappear wherever it still has paint. So it's really handy. Like, I don't know, it feels a bit more economical I guess to use it over like using actual erase the erase tool um, I guess because I do a lot of edits or I do plan to do more edits probably to base in the future so I've been trying to incorporate that a lot more into my character design system So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like or subscribe. And that's a joke right now because there's more. So I I used to not draw underwear on my characters because they're practically a candle. But 
not Kendall, but Ken doll. Um, but I don't know. I felt like I wanted to give them some decency, <laughs> um, and also I didn't really want to get in, tru- in trouble or anything. So I put underwear really quickly on this character, and clips to do your paint couldn't do what I wanted to do. So I jumped into Photoshop, put it on multiply, um, reduced the fill, and he has underwear. Yay! So that's a twenty twenty sixteen twenty eighteen comparison. You can pause there if you want to see the little details. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Digit this time. Like or subscribe if you enjoy these types of videos. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt. And I'll see you around.